But you know that. But that's the, the only way you can be or you can only uh, be redeemed is if you're going according to the Spirit. It is if you follow if you follow like if you follow according to the Scriptures like the Scriptures tell you. If there's an order of things, you gotta abide in it. And that's the whole thing with Mimosa. Mimo like he's about order. You know, the world doesn't have order. You know, they don't. They don't. They, they don't. They hate people who have order. They they, they, they call it. Like uh, I don't know, they, they, it's like a like a, a boring routine to them, you know. They want to be able to do things outside of the line, bend the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what the most most high is an austere power, man. It, that, 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 this is that's why you don't bend the rules, man. Because look what it's gotten us, you know. Look what it's done to us as a as a nation as a whole of Israel. Look where we're at now. We're at the bottom. We're the tail. We're being mocked at. Because we at one point in time, we, would, we weren't going to corner our flesh. We, we did what the Most High told us to do. Mm -hmm. This is 1 John 1 and 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that Yahweh is light and in, and, and, and in him is no darkness at all. Yeah, you can't be tempted. You can't, the Lord can't be tempted with evil. So he, he, he is no, he already, it's already made, made clear that he has no dealings with the wicked man. A wicked man, there's not, you know, like, there's not a, a being up there. Yahweh is not up there going against what uh, his father's telling him to do. He's not saying, no, I want to do it, I want to do it now, I want to do it differently, whatever. He's, he's, he's listening to him. He's obeying his father. Verse 6, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, mm -hmm. we lie and not and do not the truth. There you go. You know, if, you, if you're living, if you're doing the things that are contrary to the spirit, you, you're not a fellowship, you don't, you're not a fellowshipper of the Most High. You're not, you're not of the truth. You're not a friend of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, verse 7, But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. Going back to that purging. To cutting out and mortifying the members, that leaven, that wickedness. You got to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's basically what we're, and that's another whole point again about the Passover. That's what we're doing. He's, he's, we're, we're, reconciled, we're confessing to the Most High everything we've done up until this point. It's that, it's that one day, like it's that one week where we're taking all that time to really try to get in good graces with the Most High and acknowledge what we did. Because he won't, he, well, as I just said right there, he'll, he'll, only, he'll only redeem a man who confesses. All right? He's not going to save someone who's out there tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, you're just, well, you're just saying shit. You don't even mean it. Yeah, kind of. That's why it says to have a sincere, uh, with a sincere heart. With truth, like it said in First uh, Corinthians five, right? The unleavened bread, which is sincere and truth. Sincere and truth, huh? Okay, so it's not about just doing it that seven days and that's it. That's the that's the whole point that brothers are pushing and, and, and showing that it's a consistent, it's a constant thing every day. It's not just do the Passover and that's it. Then when the Passover is over, you go back to doing your 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 you're going back to your old antics, your old fucking evil ways. Uh, verse 10. 1 John 1 and 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, let we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the righteous. Yeah. And, that, and real quick, that advocate, Yahweh Shah, that, that's... He's coming. He's coming back, or he's he's, he's going to pass over on that week. He's going to be taking out those who aren't sincere. He's in, it, it, like the brother said, man. That that, that angel is there. It, it's going to pass. It, it, it was. It's not. And that's another thing. It's not. It wasn't a fiction, right? Fiction. Yeah. Kind of made it's not fiction. Yeah. It's just real, real shit that really happened, man. Not shit in that way to disrespect it, but that it's real. Mm -hmm. But only only the elect are going to believe it. So the scriptures say the wicked shall not understand in, in Daniel chapter 12. You know, so we ain't worried about them. You know, 
Let the ignorant be ignorant. Let the filthy be filthy. Let the just be justice. So we ain't worried about anybody that's, that don't believe. All right? We're worried about the elect, and that's it. We're worried about the brothers that we have with us and the brothers that are in the brotherhood. You know? And that's who this, this whole message is for. It's not for anybody else. Uh, verse First John 2 and 2. And he is the, the propitiation for our sins. And not for our, our, ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Talking about the world of Israel. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So if you if you if you're not following the the, 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 the precepts, you're not following the, the your order, we just read to you that we're not above one another, so we're all we all fall into that same lot. We have to obey the commandments. And if we fall we have to get back up and continue to, to thereby. But if you don't follow the commandments, if you don't follow this word the Lord ain't dealing with you. The Lord ain't with you. Verse 5. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of Yahweh perfected. How by know we that we are in him? He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So there you go. You know, we got to walk in light. We got to walk in the paths of righteousness. In the, in, the, in, in the path of Yahweh Shai. Because he was the one that basically he he set up and he was that our, our, our he's our main example on how to be. And that's what all starting from the elders all the way down. We're supposed to walk in that same body, that same light, that same understanding. Rehearsing the righteous acts and getting a, get, getting rid of all leaven, all filthiness, all wickedness, anything that hinders and con is contrary to our walk. And our duty as being a man of the Lord. Oh, you got a scripture? Yeah, uh, James chapter um, chapter one verse twenty two. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Yep. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. A doer is somebody that's going to apply it. It's going to put into action. All right. Not not just speaking it and then turning around and going doing some some what they call ratchet shit. Being going back into the world and being a nigga all over again, you know, you, one way you're you're with the brother, but then another way you're over here in the world. You know, go ahead. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, mm -hmm. deceiving your own selves. Yep. For any for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Yeah, you never change. You're still the same person. Man. You know, you're just you're just trapped. Like you don't know. You don't know what to do. You know you gotta you gotta completely change your 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 life, man. Your life has to change. That's a reflection of of of. It's a reflection of who who and what you are. Everybody knows that the scriptures say you shall know a man by his laughter, his his his, his speech, his gait, his 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 apparel, his attire. So I mean. Brothers should look and be like, you know, the most size, you know, blessed, blessing him. You know, he's dealing with him. He's, 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 he came from this certain way. Now he's, 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 he's lifting the brother up. Because the most I always said, the most I don't ever want to see is at the bottom. That, to be at the bottom is because we're going off. Right? Because that's what Israel did. They were up top and then they went, they got to the bottom. Why? Because they, they didn't obey the commandments. And Deuteronomy 28. Go ahead. It says, for if any be a hearer of the... I mean, every brother has their own situation. It's not to knock any, bro any brother down because every brother, every brother has a different living situation. But from where we were, we used to be at in the world to where we ought to be, the Lord will increase us, will get us in a better place, a better living situation. You know what I'm saying? Things will be a little bit better than where they were in the beginning. Well, one of the greatest things he's doing, or he's he's bringing us back to, is the remembrance of these scriptures. Yeah. Because the scriptures tell you that because we went off, he slowly it tells you in Ezra he slowly stripped it away over time, 
to where you thought you would remember, but you kept on forgetting and forgetting, and just and we ultimately forgot. Now he's 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 brought it back. He's allowing us to actually have access to this knowledge again, dude. Yeah. Or, you know, you know, so it's like for that, but it's a beautiful thing, and we can't. And, and now that we've been shown this, we can't. We can't. Uh, uh, Despise it, despise it, you know, like the scriptures say. Well, you got that one man that uh, got that talent and he hid it under a napkin. He didn't do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to increase. You're supposed to increase it. You know, and the Lord will bless you. The Lord will take care of you. Right? If you want to see good, you got to hate evil. Come on. You know? Uh, James 1 and 23 for any be a hearer of the word mm -hmm. and not a doer he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass for he beholdeth for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way mm -hmm. and straight straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was yeah, he forgot what he what he was what he what he was supposed to do you know mm he -hmm. don't know he's in, in, his mind is all bugged out that's why it's it's important that we we apply this in sincerity and truth, not just saying it. You know. Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, but whoso looketh into the perfect, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue with therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Yeah, he's gonna be blessed in your deeds, man. Yeah, he's gonna increase you with more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But he's also gonna he's gonna help you out to help to have a to be better off. You know. You know, and that that's what brothers had to put their confidence confidence in the in the Lord, and to do one right, to help us be better, man. You know. Because that's what the the heathen, they love seeing. You know, Israelites down. You know what I'm saying? They don't like seeing them up. And, and, and at the same time, Israelites love being down. They love still living in the ghettos and, and shit like that, man. They don't want to, because that's where all that wickedness is, all that filthiness is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all over the world, but he, the Most High wants to see you out. Ultimately, we're going to inherit things that are greater than what we see out here. We're going to inherit the kingdom. But first, we got to seek what? Wisdom. Knowledge and understanding, that everything shall be added to us. But you gotta have that humble, that humbleness, that humble mind, that humble spirit, for it to, for Yahweh Shai to work with you. Go ahead. Uh, if any man among you seem to be religious and brittleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Mm -hmm. Pure religion and undefiled before Yahweh and the Father is this: to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. And to keep himself unspotted from the world. Yeah, we gotta keep ourselves unspotted from the world. All right, we gotta can't be out there doing one thing and then over here another thing. That's being lukewarm. All right, we gotta then visiting the fatherless is going on to the highways and the byways, and then bringing in the uh, the children, you know, the, the the lost sheep of the house of Israel back to the father, man. You know. So. Basically, the whole the whole point of everything is that you either get right or get out. You know, so you know, most sides basically saying that that's the spirit that's on everybody. That's the spirit that's on the brother, on, on on the elders, and and that's the spirit that's been put on me for a while already. You know, and and, and we're we're what a day and a half away, like a day away from from the Passover, man, and. and we can't come into this thing with no with no wickedness, man. Okay. So, you got one last scripture? Oh, that was actually it on that. But, but yeah, uh, you know, you know, is it, it, that now that we see our salvation, you know, nearer than we believe, man, it's time to wake out of sleep, man. So, we gotta uh, really, really focus and pay attention to the things that are being. Uh, said the signs, the the, the the visions, the dreams, everything that's coming, we gotta really take heed to them, not to believe in them to to a hundred percent, but you know things are happening, man. You know in the spirit, 
So you got you got something? I was actually going back to Romans 13. All right, go ahead. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Mm -hmm. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. You know, you can feel it, man. You can feel it. This, this, the, the vibration that's on the earth, you can feel something's happening, man. And more than ever, the more than it ever did. You know, you got this whole Donald Trump thing going on, man. It's really causing the uproar. You know, it's, and, and we know that if, if he gets put in the office, it, that's, that's, we already know it's, it's over. The end is here. You know, it's just things are just being shown. You know, there's, there's I, I, know, I watched recently in Milwaukee, uh, I think that's Wisconsin, I think, uh, they had sighting of like seven or six chariots, man, that were just, they were in a formation. And they were right there, broad daylight, you know, like a, like a, like a V, like a, like a, a bird's V. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was crazy, man. You know, but it, it's there, you know. It's no game, man. And what we're coming into, every brother's got to be ready and tight and, and, and really, on, like the brother said, uh, circumspect for what's coming. We couldn't, because we're, we've already made another year pass already into another, into another Passover. You know? And it's good and it's just gonna get worse. Uh, and it ain't gonna get no better. And it, like I said, like even the other brothers couldn't tell you tell tell whoever's listening, watching, whatever, you know, the message to the brother edification, whatever. There's brothers out there that it gets worse and worse each Passover. It's, it's the more the more it gets more scarier, man, it gets more intense. You know, and there's no time to be, you know, playing games, man. There's no time to be saying, "Oh, well, I'm this and I'm that. I'm I'm tired. I'm weak." And da, 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 you gotta get. We gotta get up. And 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 and, and man up. Go ahead. Uh, but it says, "And that for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Mm -hmm. The night is far spent. The day is at hand." Yep, the day is at hand. The night, the night is far spent. Talking about the brutal show of Esau, this kingdom, man. Evils thrive for from the beginning till now, and its time is, is far spent, and it's overrun. It's all it's, it's expired. So at any moment, Yahweh is gonna come back, man. But before that, it's gonna get worse. Go ahead. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Mm -hmm. and you gotta cast off those works of darkness, man. Talk, you know, you gotta stop. Work doing the doing wickedness, man. And every brother, every brother struggles with whatever he struggles with, and that's that. You gotta get rid of it. Go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Mm -hmm. Put on the armor of light, which is the spirit, the Holy Spirit, man. His word. Go ahead. It says, "Let us walk honestly as in the day." Yep, we gotta walk honest. Be honest, sincere. Truthful. Go ahead. Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, mm -hmm. but put you on the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Yeah. Ain't no provision to the flesh, to the lust thereof, so basically cut it out. And 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 man up. If not, like the elders say, get it right or get out, you know. So Either way, Yahweh Shai is going to do his own his own thing to the Spirit, you know. He's going to sift those out that are not that are not called. Many are called, but few chosen, so. Other than that, I, I ain't got nothing left to say, unless his brother wants some last words to say anything. Okay. Yeah, just, just acknowledge, man, that it's serious, you know. We gotta, all we can do is just keep on fighting, like the brother said earlier, you know. And actually, fight, fighting is actually doing something about it, not just uh, uh. struggling. You're actually, you're actually trying. You're, 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 you're changing things, not struggling. All right, struggling. You could be, you know, like, like a water flow. You know, a, a constant. That's like the, the word. The word is a, 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 a living, uh, like a flow of water. Yeah. All right, a river that's flowing. If something's there, making it still stagnant. You're not supposed to leave it there and just let something move it out the way. You gotta go out there and, and, and move that shit out the way to so you can continue to let it flow. So that's where it struggles. You, you, if you don't clean that 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 blockage, it's struggling. 
So there's a difference between uh, acknowledging and doing what you're supposed to do, putting work, and then and struggling, because you gotta you gotta move out all that shit for it that flow to, to continue to flow. You know, you're not gonna leave you're not gonna leave a, a river. If if you own the river, you're not gonna leave no no woods blocked right there. You're gonna go there and move them the woods out the way. You know, unless a flood comes, you know, and you don't you, you don't know that that, that that all that stuff's right there, and then a flood comes and washes it away. But I mean, you gotta you gotta go and do maintenance. You gotta put work, not struggle to do it. You gotta get up and do it. But if that makes sense, if it makes sense, you know, good. But if not, I'm sorry. You know, so I try to use the best analogies and things like that that I can think of. But uh. If that's it, that's all you gotta say. But we're gonna leave it with that. We're gonna give all praises and glory and honor to Yah by Shem Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, much respect and love to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Uh, you know, death to America, death to these two thirds, uh, you know, to the heathen. Uh, but until then, Yah by Shem Shai, Barakatan, Shalom, Akion, Kwam Yashallah.